Hi guys, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Victory at Sea. I'm your host, BBG Chu, and well, welcome to episode 6 now. So, anyhow, I had some um, loading troubles once again, and with that said, I just uh, played from the last save up until where we were at. And with that said, I think we rolled for some mission involving Guadalcanal last time, and well, this time I seem to have, um, I, I seem to have rolled for some mission involving a large convoy heading out of Rabul. So this one, uh, this thing looks pretty cool, so I think we'll pursue it. And with that said, um, I've seen one of these battles uh, already. It's it's actually a fleet of right around 20 ships. So this will be a nice way to start off episode 6 here with a pretty massive battle. And with that said, it's going to be guarded by, um, by my estimate, some sort of a mixture between cruisers, battleships, and destroyers. So I'm going to bring my ships into the port here, and we're going to let it load up here. Sorry about the little uh, bit of, bits of freezing there, but it's going to load up. And, uh, well, we're going to pick up a few more ships with the amount of war bonds we've uh, we've accumulated here because this should be quite the engagement. Um, so we could go with, so we could go with one more of these Brooklyn class battleships with the six inch guns. Those would be really lethal going up against some of the smaller stuff. But perhaps we uh, we might want to invest in something a bit heavier, such as the New Orleans class here with the eight inch guns, which would definitely uh, be more useful in penetrating some of the larger uh, ships there. But we also uh, we could go for the for the Casablanca class escort carrier, but that might be a tad risky, seeing as I don't know what or not we have the means to protect it right now. Um, right now, the Norfolk carrier looks like it would be a really strong mix for our uh, crew here. It has 15 uh, hit points, 3 armor, so that's pretty good. And it also features a large variety of 8-inch uh, batteries, but I think right now what we'll do here is we'll pick up one more of these... Um, where is it? We'll pick up one of these New Orleans cruisers, and that will add yet another power ship to our lineup here. So we'll take these, and ooh, hmm, I could think about buying one of these uh, Gato class, uh, Gato class submarines as well, because that would be really useful for this port attack mission there. But hmm, you know what? I think I'll take one of these as well. So I think we'll finish off like that, we'll leave port, and we'll start off this episode with uh, quite the nice battle with our newly founded fleet of seven ships here. Right, so, um, with that said, I think last episode we, we first and foremost um, finished off that little island chain there, and in addition to that we got, we uh, obtained some sort of like overarching mission re regarding um, invading a few really highly prized uh, locations on the campaign map. But anyhow, I want to try out this fleet mission for now, and as you saw there, that was that uh, convoy marker that we need to uh, go towards. So I'm going to bank around here. I see a whole bunch of these Japanese patrols, but they don't seem to be particularly strong ships. So anyhow, I think we'll see what, what, what we can do about finishing these guys off, and then afterwards we'll just move forwards and um, take out the big one over there. And perfect, from the looks of it, we started off in... Uh, Within combat range, here with the uh, the or the, the New Orleans class ship. What is this one called, anyways? The USS Tado Tuscaloosa or something like that. So we'll open up, see how well these uh, eight-inch batteries function. And there we go. One thing strikes the very tops of uh, what from from the looks of the bridge of. Uh, that ship, the Nagara class cruiser. We'll fire off another one, see how well how well this one does. And perfect, turbines down. So that uh yeah, those two shots have uh yeah from the looks of it nicked down that cruiser down to right around 33% health, so you know one third of that of its total amount. So I'm liking these guns so far. See what we can do here about finishing it off, and from the looks of it, these guns actually uh, outrange the uh, the guns on that cruiser as well. Right, so we'll see what we can do here about... Uh, let's see. Shifting that around. Just out of range. There we go. And that might be all we need to, uh, to do to finish off this thing. Oh, ship crippled. Everything's damaged. Second shot hits. And that ship should be gone. Far off one more. And that... Uh, Nagara class should be dead here. You boom there. 
So, that was uh, quite an easy battle, no losses, so that's uh, great, seeing as I will have to conserve our strength for the uh, the coming battle ahead. And we should look at that, now we have a full list of uh, different captains at our command. So let's check up on the supply fleet and what it has uh, guarding it. So, from the looks of it, it has, uh, ooh, yeah, a cruiser, a heavy cruiser, and a destroyer guarding 20 of those supply ships. So that will be uh, truly indeed a massive uh, engagement here. So let's see what we can do about avoiding this uh, little patrol heading directly to the, uh, the enemy here and starting the biggest naval engagement we've seen so far. So, I mean, as we've uh, already seen, there will be a ton of these supply ships. Some of these guys will have guns, some of them don't, but usually they do not. Um, taking a look at some of their heavier ships, they have the uh, the Mogami class heavy cruiser here uh, with its own assortment of those 8-inch guns. So that'll be on even footing with our... Uh, New Orleans class, and they also have the uh, Takato class ship here, another ship with a massive amount of 8-inch uh, batteries and torpedo tubes as well in both of these ships. So those things are, uh, yeah, definitely heavier in class than our ships, but with good micromanagement, I think we'll be able to sink them, especially with the, uh, the added bonus of having the submarine around. Right, so the, battle, so the battle begins here, and from the looks of it, our ships are deployed in some sort of a line formation. And this will be another one of these convoy attack missions, but it's presented on a massive scale. So we have a blob of right around 20 of these ships trying to exit off of the side of the map here. Mago the, uh, the, yeah, the Mogami class heavy cruiser is at the very edge of the map, so whatever we send there, we'll have to take the, uh, the majority of the beating. And right now, I'm just trying to find our two cruisers, so from the looks of it, yeah, the New Orleans is here, so it's perfectly in line with that. And I think we'll just get our ships to go full steam, close up upon these guys, and see what they can do. And with the submarine, I'll bank it into the middle of the uh, the convoy here, and then I'll get it to launch its torpedoes and sink its, uh, where you know, do its stuff over there. So, that'll be the general plan. We'll get these ships to close up, and uh, we'll let them work their magic, I guess. I think I'll get the USS Ross where, yeah, I think I'll actually get all of our ships to just ball up here, going up against the Mogami, as that seems to be the, uh, the prominent option here. And their ships are going to bank in, they're going to uh, actually weave through the, uh, the, the, the convoy ship fleet, so that's kind of neat, and I think now it's time to zoom in into the... Uh, ground level here and to check out these uh, ship v ship battles individually so I'll take down I'll slow down the game and this might be a battle that we'll have to uh, that we'd have to manage from the strategic or the tactical layer over here just simply due to the the large amount of ships um, present and ooh slow that down to right around half speed and there we go, the Mogami is within firing range, so let's lay down the battery of 8-inch uh, heavy cannons. I'm not really sure what the, uh, the naval definition of these guns would be, but we'll start firing. And would you look at that, they have three of those batteries on the front. So first shot goes a little bit over, uh, goes a little over the top of the ship, so that's not too bad. Try to get one right in the center and perhaps we'll lead with um, this battery right here. See how that goes. And let's see whether or not we can perhaps range onto that ship with some of the side guns. Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh, I think we nicked the tower on that shot and it uh, did just a slight amount of damage, so that, that's not too bad. Let's see what else we can do here. Fire something like that off. All right, I think I think I see uh, some more buddy buddy ships firing off inside the distance there. I think we land a direct hit on the uh, the very deck of the ship on that shot, though it doesn't seem to have done any damage. Ooh, yikes! Torpedoes. We're gonna bank in on that. Hopefully, that'll help us avoid it. And this battle is now in full swing. So if I pause the game here, take a look at some of the other ships. The uh, what is that? Shoo, the Taco class cruisers firing its volleys on us over here near the Brooklyn class, so that's not too bad. Yeah, unfortunately, from the looks of it, we might, uh, we might have to sacrifice one or two of the destroyers just to uh, get a few truly dev to, uh, to do some 
damage, some truly devastating damage onto that convoy of cargo ships. But if we manage to sink all of these little car cargo uh, ships, that would be a major payday uh, there. Yeah, let's see what happens. So the Brooklyn took a yeah, the Brooklyn took a shot there. Nonetheless, that is uh, reversible, so that's not too bad. Gami here is laying down quite a little barrage here. Luckily, everything missed there. Fire off these two guns. They might no, just they're just barely outside of the uh, the secondary gun range as well. And there we go, two nice sh uh, shots, and we also damaged their propeller, or, um, yeah, propeller on the bottom of the ships, so the props are damaged. So that's not too bad. Right now, I just really want to close up with the secondary guns. Hopefully, that'll do uh, a tad bit more damage as well. And I think now that this ship is slowed down, I'll focus fire, and I'll try to bank some of these shots onto the very uh, forward portion of the ship. Try to knock down those um, those gun batteries on the on the very front of it. That works too. Got a nice fuel system um, shot on it as well. And with these uh, fuel systems and the munitions of the ships, I believe what will happen gradually is that the, the ship crewmen will go down. And once that get, goes down to a uh, very specific number or a, a specific percentage, I believe what will happen is that it will trigger that skeleton crew event. And then that makes it so that the, um, the enemy ship's reload times are go down to practically like nothing or something along those lines. So, looks like we have the Mogami on the run here. Two more shots, nicely landed in. Really want to scratch their uh, their gun batteries though, because those things are starting to uh, zero in on us. That would have been a nice gun battery uh, shot, though it doesn't look like it did anything truly major. We are just pounding this ship. It's going to yeah, from the looks of it, it's trying to escape now. So that's that. It's going to turn around. We're going to follow it up. Uh, New Orleans here. And would you look at that, from the looks of it, the Mogami is on the run now. So here's what I think I'll do, I'll get the uh, yeah, I'll get the New Orleans to continue chasing that ship just until the edge of that uh, map boundary where it will promptly disappear. The Brooklyn class seems to uh, have held its own against the Takado class cruiser, so that was one of the things that I was a little bit worried about. So that's good. And over here, the destroyers are working their way into the cargo ship fleet, so that's not uh, too bad. And unfortunately, these submarines are indeed quite slow vessels, so it'll take them a bit of time to um, get there. How are we doing over here? Yeah, that thing from the looks of it is definitely uh, on the run. And I'm just going to get these this, uh, destroyers to make their way straight through the uh, the pack of cargo ships there. And I think we can put it on uh, real-time speed now. And the thing that I want to do here is that I want to sink this entire uh, transport fleet. I mean, in reality, that would be a huge blow to whatever... Uh, place that these ships are going would be just a huge fleet, fleet in general with only seven ships. Banking in here with the Escherwood. I don't think any of the Japanese cruisers here pose too much of a threat now. So we'll switch on over to here and we'll see what uh, what we can do in this regards. So we'll bank forwards here, put down the torpedoes. That should be one of these ships gone. Boom. There we go, just like that. Bring the guns over and score a hit on that oil tanker. It's not going to do too much though. And I'll just get these two uh, destroyers to whittle about inside the middle of that uh, fleet and to do their best in taking those guys down. And over here, I think I'll get the USS Brooklyn to um, turn around here and flee the scene. And yeah, that other ship has retreated, so I think I'll bring the New Orleans around to deal with the other two uh, cruisers that are still um, alive and ready. Yeah, the Brooklyn here. Really great uh, multi-role ship when it's fighting things smaller than it, but I guess on some of these larger engagements, it just can't really compare. So that's rather unfortunate, but I guess I'll get it to... Uh, fire its volley of guns from the looks of it yeah the smaller turrets are a tad damaged i noticed that only two of them fired when we uh, issued that command i'll just i'll just get the uss brooklyn to bail out there 
Alright, so our ships over here are fine. The USS, uh, where the HMS Gurkha should <coughs> make a run for it along with these two ships. Hopefully the Brooklyn gets out fine. And I'll switch back into these ships and I'll get them to do their own thing. There we go, so that's another ship down. We'll do a bit of a turn. And torpedoes. Torpedoes. There we go. Right, so that'll be another oil tanker. I'm going to pause the game here just to uh, check out where exactly those Japanese ships are. So they've got one gunboat here. And is that really just it? Did we sink two of their ships? To, did we sink two of their combat ships already? No, no. There's a... Uh, Ah, I see. So there's that one destroyer lurking about right there in the uh, in the middle of the forward pack. So I guess we'll just let them do its thing. I'll get the Brooklyn class to retreat, and that'll put it back onto its onto the campaign map as a um, as as just like yeah, a ship inside our pool, but not used. So um, we'll keep that in reserve for now, and we'll just get the rest of the ships here to make a bit of a drive forwards into the pack here. Let's see what we can do in this uh, area. Really hope these torpedoes get uh, get ready soon. There we go. Get the torpedoes. That is going to be a direct hit. Boom. Right. So that should uh, that should allow us to at least bag all of the cargo ships inside the front of the back here. So I guess we'll just go forwards and see what else we can do. I'm going to get these ships off of our manual uh, control setting. And I think I'll just let them do their thing for now. Uh, so attack ships, attack ships, attack ships, attack ships. There we go. New Orleans, though, has to focus on that cruiser, which from the looks of it is uh, is actually escaping. It's going off towards the, uh, the opposite side of the map, so I'm not really sure what that's uh, doing, but... I'm gonna guess that it's uh, running away. Shameful display running from uh, its responsibilities of protecting all of these little uh, cargo ships here. Well, that's gonna leave them for room. Lucky us. Oh, and it, yeah, indeed, it is trying to uh, flee from the looks of it, so that makes, uh, that makes for something for sure. Ooh, that is going to be close. There we go. Made it through all of those torpedoes. It'd be hilarious if they hit one of their own ships with those things. Ooh, yikes. We just lost the, uh, the USS Isherwood there. The second ship that we had, uh... I don't know if that, Is that... Huh. That might have been the first ship we've uh, we've we've been given command of. Not really sure what uh, which order uh, in these two two ships it is, but yeah, that's uh, unfortunately we lost the destroyer there, but its sacrifice was not in vain. Seeing as how it just opened up a juicy pile of uh, supply ships for us to grab here, we'll enact revenge and take all of these ships to the seas with us, with that ship. Boom, that's one more down. Oh hey, and this is the Gato class uh, submarine. Huh. Might be able to use the USS Sunfish over here to uh, make a bit of a stealthy attack on the uh, on that cruiser because they on that cruiser they sh they shouldn't have anything that sh that should be able to go up against the submarine when it's under uh, when it's underwater. Those torpedoes might hit, but apart from that, yeah, I don't think they'll they'll have very much to uh, to use against our submarine here. So 
So with that said, I might be able to bank in the uh, the USS Sunfish here into the into uh into that cruiser to take it out. For now, though, let's grab these two uh, other ships. Pause the game here. See how, whether or not we can adjust for this torpedo wave. Ooh. Oh yikes! The supply tanker has a few depth charges. Take that out. Or maybe it can shoot at the submarine with the uh, the main guns on it. Either way, we're almost done here. And I think this will be quite a nice payday for us. Ooh, in torque range, so we'll fire those off. They're going to turn into it. That's going to hit them once. And oh no, the submarine sank. It, uh... Yeah, it is indeed gone. I can... Oh, I see, yeah, it, uh, it lost the ability to submerge, so I guess it, uh, it's a goner either way. But nonetheless, this seems to be quite a promising battle. And I think it's time to just get our ships to retreat now. USS Gurkha over here, or the HMS Gurkha, will stick around for a tad bit of time longer. And there we go. I think that's, yeah, that's all I'm going to risk for uh, for this battle here. I'm going to get the rest of the ships to pull out now. So they'll run towards the edge of the map here. And after a few short moments, they should disappear. And we'll just uh, leave this fleet be for now. With uh, 19 out of the 20 cargo ships lost. And 2 out of the 3, um, I guess, combat ships still alive. So that's not bad. It's not great, and of course we'll have to repair the uh, the ships here, and perhaps buy a few new uh, destroyers along with it. Um, chances are is that, uh, you know what, the submarines from the looks of it aren't really good, unless you uh, you have them by themselves. And with that said, it'd be nice if there was a way to like put ships into bay and to just store them. Um, because from the looks of it right now, we can only sell them or uh, keep them inside our fleet, so that's not really that handy. Anyhow, um... Overall, I really hope that this battle pays out well. Hopefully, it'll pay for another cruiser. That would be really, really nice. And there we go. A lot more of our ships have retreated. And HMS Gurkha should be out just right now. There we go. Right. So, that was a bit of a perfect victory, I guess. Bittersweet victory. And we get another virtual medal. So, perfect. That should give us a whopping 5 million war bonds. Almost 5 million war bonds. So, I guess that replaces one of the ships, which isn't, uh, isn't exactly great. But, I'll, you know what? I'll take that. And we have unlocked some of the bigger ships. Um, starting off with a few battle cruisers, heavy cruisers, and a few battleships, and also a few more carriers. Um, if you guys remember, we've checked out the Nelson-class battleship. That one is uh, quite the, the uh, quite the fourth to be uh, reckon, reckoned with, so that's quite a nice ship. And over here, we have to battle the remnants of the uh, the battle. Or no, this is another fleet. This is just two destroyers. I guess these were two destroyers that were chasing us from um, from earlier. So get our ships to just go at it. Our uh, destroyers and all should be fairly high leveled by now. And with that said, they should be able to just one-shot them as uh, we've seen before. So, yet another fairly successful battle. In a little turn trick. Now they're gonna go uh, guns this time. Ross is making quite a nice charge here. There we go. Torpedoes out, and. Ooh, no, the guns took, it, uh, took out uh, that destroyer right there. Go, HMS Gurkha, torpedoes. Nope, missed. Go, Ross. Either way, we managed to snatch uh, two more destroyers there. Nice quick level up, and another million in the bank. So, not too bad, but not uh, not great in its own sense. I'm going to see whether or not we can perhaps scurry away from that Japanese fleet, and indeed we can. And I think we'll just bank forwards here. We might, um, hmm, 
Our ships are a tad damaged here, so I don't know whether or not we c we could try to capture two of those ports. But you know what? I think we'll just dock up inside a British port for now, get our ships repaired on the other side of this island over here. So at Port uh, Moresby, and uh, we'll just go forwards from there. Are they really going to attack with that one? Yeah, no. Alright, so that'll be that. And I think we'll just end the episode here. And when we return, we'll check out some new boats we've uh, uh, obtained, were unlocked. And well, I think we'll just continue from there, perhaps sink a few more, we'll capture a few more ports, and um, see whether or not we can buy perhaps one of these larger vessels. Bye bye, for, uh, bye, -bye till then.